We're going to go over this uh, motive wave on how to do this. you got about uh, a couple minutes before. If you do want to bail all, you can bail all here if you want, if you want to be conservative. All right, let's look on gold. Gold, let's take a look at it. Okay, last night, okay, last night, please play that video. If you have not played last night's video, it's a very important video. In fact, we're going to label it. We're going to label the video how to trade the Elliott Wave Motive Wave because it's very important how to catch these big moves. And we nailed it. Just like I told you how to do it last night, it's exactly how you want to do it. All right. Here's your recent high. We got the big red fat triangle. There it is. You look at the recent high. You do your retracement. This is wave one. Wave two is after the triangle comes up. Wave three will be your largest motive wave short. And the arrow popped up. There it is, guys, right into the right into the uh, support area. Gorgeous. A lot of you traders are going to be done pre-news. You don't have to trade the news with this now. You don't have to trade the news with this because we got a pre-news trade. This happens quite a bit. You gold traders have just padded your accounts. Look at that. That's a perfect wave three motive wave short. What's a motive wave? This one, two, three pattern. What it is, is if I get the big fat red triangle, if the five minute trend is down, there's your 20 cross to the 50. There's my beautiful gorgeous red fib dot. There's my beautiful arrow to tell me there's my entry arrow. It stopped right at my 62% retracement, which is a motive wave short. Motive is with five-minute trend. These will be your best one, two, three patterns you're ever going to get on any market according to Elliott Wave. There's no better pattern than this right here. And this is what you want to get on. If you see this trade set up with five-minute trend, had several yesterday on a lot of markets, that is a motive wave short. We went over this last night. Please play that video. Gerald's going to single it out and send it out to all of you. Again, we're going to single this out. And it's going to be labeled how to trade the motive wave. It's the largest wave with trend. It's a wave three motive wave, and it is the largest wave you can get. I want you to cookie cut this on all markets right across the board, all markets, because if I can get you to get into this type of trade, this type of trade, you're going to put yourself in a high probability trade every time you pull the trigger. All right? This is the most important wave, and I cannot be more clear than this. I went over this in very great detail last night. So if you haven't played that, we're going to make sure we label it so you understand it. Make sure you understand it. That is the most important wave for you to get. It's very simple to get to. If you have a big red fat triangle, look at the recent high. You can do your Fibonacci retracement to find your zone at 62 to 76%. If, you're, if your Fibonacci dot fires with five-minute trend, that's called a motive wave, there's your entry arrow. Even if that arrow doesn't pop up, I'm going to pop in this trade if I close below that doji or spinning top. My spinning tops are in nice blue, and my dojis are plus signs. If I close below that, wicks don't count if I close a body candle close, you need to pop in the trade. That's your highest probability trade because you're into the FIB sell zone. You have to make sure you understand that. That's a motive wave short. Okay? You can use the symmetry dots of scale. Here's your first scale. Here's your second scale. So depending where you fill, almost $400 potential per one contract right before news. It's now 828. I would sell everything, flatten everything. We don't like to hold it into news. Not unless you're going to be extremely aggressive. And I would not do that. I don't like holding into news if I'm long or shorter position. Not unless I'm way, way up in the position. This is really close. Okay? So as with news, what we'll do, we'll probably have another Elliott wave come up here soon, a wave three after we set a new low or new high. You can watch for that also.